This is happiness to be everything at once. Be unblinded, be unlearned, be unbridled and unburned. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Mood Prep. My name is Dave Nixon and uh, we're going to continue on with our little uh, Matrix fun this week and uh, talk about the Lady in Red. Now, if you're not familiar with this actual, um, I suppose, clip of the of the movie The Matrix, I'll put it into the, the Facebook group. Um, but the, the whole idea here is that the... Neo has been unplugged from the um, from from the computer system basically, and uh, Morpheus is taking him through the simulation. And, and there's a lot of black and a lot of grey, um, a lot of white sort of thing, as in suits, right? And so this, this is the idea that here are these, um, you know, in quotation marks, uh, uh, people that are asleep in the Matrix. And then there's this lady in red. And she stands out. It's completely different color. It's not the black, the white, and the gray like everything else. It's designed for this idea of this this beautiful red dress and this lady just completely standing out, right? And it was a distraction. It took Neo's attention away from what Morpheus was saying. And then uh, Morpheus turns and he says, paraphrasing, um, were you paying attention or were you um, looking at the lady in red? And then he said, lady in red, and he goes, look again. And then there's Agent Smith, who's technically the bad guy, um, or, uh, behind him holding a gun to his head, right? So there's a couple of things in this. This, this is a pretty key um, moment, I suppose, in the movie, but also for, for life as well. So let's take a couple of little things here, right? So Morpheus, by the way, um, from ancient Greek, actually means effectively the messenger of truth. And the funny thing about Morpheus is that he would come to people in dreams um, and would take on almost any form. Hence why he would be Morph, right? So Morpheus, that was, that was the whole idea that he is a messenger of truth. He doesn't, he, it's not there from an idea of what's right, what's wrong, all this sort of shit. It's like, this is the truth. You do what you want to do with it. Now, this is us. Hey, is that we constantly have the truth in front of us and in us. We are the truth and we then have an opportunity to be, to be the messenger of that for ourselves and for, for everything else. Or we have the opportunity to lean into silence or any other form of, of lying. But that's the key thing here is that's what Morpheus is doing. And that's who that's who, what he's embodying. Now, Neo, Neo actually in ancient Greek, once again, means young one. It's a, right? a, a young one or, or youth or, or new, new one, basically, right? And so the whole idea is that Neo is the young um, uh, spawn that is, that is being born and becoming awake and so on and so forth. The other funny thing is that it's the Enneagram for one. And throughout the movie, there's a constant theme of this idea that he is the one. Neo, one. You get the point. But what is he the one of? But one of the things you could probably argue here about the collective consciousness, that there's only one consciousness. It's a collective consciousness that we're all tapped into and that, that we all exist on. We just see separate things because of a whole range of reasons. That's another podcast in itself. But the idea there is that there, there is no difference. Where do I finish and where do you start? And people go, they point at their, their bodies, of course, but... Yeah, interesting shit. Hey, anyway, so that's more of his and Neo. Now, the lady in red is a distraction. So let's look at distraction. So the word distraction means that you've lost traction towards what's important to you. Okay, so if you have traction, it means that you're moving. You've got traction. On, if you lose traction in the car at the set of lights, you're not going anywhere, right? Now, if you have traction towards what's important to you, you start moving towards that. A distraction takes away from that, right? And the thing here is that it's a lady in red, and that's going to be a symbol for something in a minute, and I'll share with you. But what happens with the distraction is that Agent Smith was there. The distraction will kill you. Can you see that? The distraction will kill you. It's a lady in red, but it's, it's Agent Smith with a gun. This is the idea of the distraction from the truth will kill us. Maybe not today, maybe not in the next five years. Maybe it'll kill us while we're still alive, right? This is the distraction from the truth. It's phenomenal shit, right? But the other thing about it is that and if you look at Joseph Campbell's works, The Hero with a Thousand Faces, and The Matrix is a big part of this, hence why it's a very dark, gloomy sort of movie to begin with. And that's the whole idea. It's the same as Wizard of Oz, by the way, um, is that the, she's the temptress. 
she is the symbol of the temptress. So this person has gone through and has done all these these lessons, these learnings, and is becoming stronger. And then the temptress is actually the thing that tempts us to go back to the where we used to be and how we used to be, right? Now, it could be a whole range of things. So this temptress or the distraction, it could be drugs, it could be television, it could be alcohol, it could be porn, it, it could be our own identity. It could be the, the past that, that once had a stranglehold on our life, right? It could be our, like something to do with our parents. There's a whole range of things of, that the temptress can arise. I've seen it a lot in people when it comes to relationships, you know, um, or maybe they're, they've decided to move on from a particular way that they live their life and then something pops up that is tempting. It's the temptress. It's the distraction from the truth to test you, to see if you've really broken free of those egoic structures or if you're still attached and aligned to them. And so this is one of the last challenges that they have is, are you being distracted by the temptress? And this is for all of us. It's in the Joseph Campbell. It's in the hero's journey. It's really felt quite fascinating. And so... Seeing this whole lady in red thing isn't just about a lady in red. It's saying that the distraction from the messenger of truth will actually kill us. Now, what does that mean? Maybe it kills us in a way that we never actually get to live, right? And we're born and we have this opportunity and we see it. And this is, I see it so much when I have conversations with people. And I know so often that people listening to these podcasts have these fleeting moments where they have clarity of something. I don't even know what it is, but I know that they have it, Right? And then that's the moment of truth where you see that and you're like, fuck, and you try and grab it and it just dissipates. It's just, no, you have to observe it. You observe the truth. That's, that's the whole key. That's the whole message here, right? And the powerful thing in that is that when we can do that, we understand that it's our egoic structures, it's our distractions that are holding us away from that. And the truth is our potential because that's the powerful thing that we have within all of us. And that's not just a cliche, nice thing to say. It's like every single one of us has an undiscovered amount of potential that we just have not leaned into because we're too afraid of the truth. When we learn, it doesn't matter. When we learn that we, in order to have something in life that we want, we have to first learn to not need it. When we learn all of these things, when we not just learn it, when we not just know about it, but we start to relate with it, when we start to embody it, when we start to be an embodiment of that understanding, that is fucking where life changes. That is the fruit and the beauty of everything that we could possibly be, but we already are. See, the thing about pursuing our potential, right, and Neo's an example of this within the Matrix, is not about getting better at things. It's about getting shit out of the way. It's getting the lies, getting the structures and getting the beliefs, getting the frames, getting all this crap that has fucking told you for so fucking long that you aren't good enough, that there's something wrong with you, that you'll never make it, that whatever the fucking case it is, getting that shit, seeing it for the bullshit it is and testing it, moving through it. And that is the fear. That is the truth. But that's where our potential lays. And team, on that note, I'm actually going to finish up. I... uh. I hope you found this podcast beneficial and interesting. I know I sure as hell did with the, with the whole concept of the lady in red. I'm going to share the video from the movie into the Facebook group. So that's Moon Prep Online. Now, one thing I'm also doing, and I'll start putting some posts up on social media in this next week, is that uh, I'm going to go back to doing my 10-week intensives. Now, what that is is basically a 10-week a course, and I'm changing it up this time around. It's a 10-week course for people that want to learn a lot more about all of this stuff that I teach and I talk about in these podcasts. It's a week uh, one, every single week, there's a one-on-one -on -one call, you and I, and there's also a, every single lesson every fortnight, sorry, every, well, there is every single lesson every fortnight, um, on different structures and models and developmental models and all the concepts that I teach as well. And there's also then that'll fit into the uh, the mood prep intensive weekend that's coming in late of September. Now, the key thing is that I'm only going to open this up for three people at the moment, and it's actually going to be half price to what it usually is because because... I haven't got the course, as in the online course that's getting developed at the moment, ready to go. I'm doing it for half price, and I'm happy to do that, but it's only for three people. So if you are interested, I'm going to keep mentioning it on here, but I haven't posted it on social media yet because I want my listeners to be the first people to get a chance to actually jump on it, right? If you want to know more about it, then jump on davenixon.com.au and then search. Uh, don't have to search anything. Just go to contact and send me an email about it. Otherwise, contact me on social media on DD, at ddnix on Instagram or on Facebook if you have me on Facebook. Team, if you are interested, I, I'm only doing it with three people. That's it. But if you have any more questions, please get in contact. Otherwise, if you have found this podcast beneficial, I would mean the world to me if you'd share it with someone else that you think would also find it beneficial. And if you haven't already, that's it. Jump on Facebook. Search me up online. You know the deal. Join the group. Join the conversation. I'll see you guys soon. Until tomorrow, peace and pizza. Kick today in the dick and slay the dragon. 
To be everything at once Be unblinded, be unlearned Be unbridled and unburned